regarding the structure of the universe the great vedic text shrimad bhagavatam describes that there are 14 planetary systems in this universe and they are lying one above the other now i am going to tell about these different planetary systems these 14 planetary systems as you can see in this figure in the middle there is bhuloka this is the earthly planetary system where we are residing above the bhuloka is the bhubar loka above bhubar loka there is swar loka or swarga loka above that is the mahar loka above mahar loka is the jana loka above jana loka is the tapa loka and the topmost planetary system where lord brahma is residing who is the first engineer of the universe he is residing in the satya loka in the swar loka or swarga loka the different demigods like indra chandra varun they are residing in the jana loka tapa loka mahar loka in these planetary systems great sages ascetics are residing below the bhu loka that is the earthly planetary system there are seven lokas or planetary systems first below below bhu loka is atala below atala is the bitala then sutala then talatala then mahatala then rasatala and the lowest planetary system is patala so the living entities are residing in all these planetary systems the martya loka the earthly planes are situated in the middle you can see that bhu loka half of bhuvar loka and half of atala these are the earthly planes the middle planetary systems above is the swar swarga loka the heavenly planes hmm. these are the above the bhu loka and below the bhu loka below the earthly planes are the patal loka or the hellish planets so it is mentioned in bhagavad gita te tam bhuktva swarga lokam visalam khine punye mart lokam vishanti evam trai dharmam anuprapanna gata gatam kama kama labhante the translation is that after having enjoyed the vast heavenly realm when their merit is exhausted they enter the earthly plane once again thus those following the religion of the three vedas desiring material pleasure obtain a reward that comes and goes actually it means that people have a desire to go to the swarga loka and enjoy there is there is opportunity of tremendous sense enjoyment in the swarga loka there are apsaras there are beautiful apsaras there are beautiful gardens one can enjoy sex life in the upper heavenly planetary systems but the problem is that when the credit of pious activities is finished then they have to again come back to the earthly planes for example when one goes to a shopping mall he can buy a very costly watch he can buy many many costly things but when the money in the pocket is ended he has to again come back to his home so swarga loka this is not the ultimate place to go because in swarga loka also there is birth old age disease and death there is suffering in swarga loka also 
and it is not permanent we cannot stay in swarga loka permanently whenever our pious credits are over then we have to again come back to the earthly planes so the opportunity is given to enjoy against our pious credits so in all these fourteen planetary systems in the lower planetary systems there is suffering in the higher planetary systems there is material enjoyment but these middle planetary systems especially bhuloka it is most conducive for doing spiritual activities to remember the supreme lord krishna take his holy names chant his holy names hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare one can practice spiritual life very nicely in this bhuloka that is the earthly planes and the human form of life is the only species in which one can practice spiritual life and he can go completely relieved he can be completely relieved from this cycle of birth and death and he can go to the spiritual world which is far far above swarga loka hare krishna